our next topic in the respiratory medicine is the classification of respiratory disorders now let us classify the respiratory diseases in detail the respiratory diseases are classified into obstructive type as well as the restrictive type the obstructive type of respiratory diseases or asthma chronic bronchitis emphysema bronchiectasis all these four comes under copd copd is nothing but chronic obstructive pulmonary airway diseases other than copd the obstructive type includes the cystic fibrosis and bronchiolitis after the obstructive type let us discuss about the restrictive type of respiratory diseases the restrictive type again classified under two headings one is the parenchymal and the second one is the extra parenchymal diseases the parenchymal diseases are sarcoidosis pneumoconiosis these are the occupational lung diseases and the third one is idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis and the fourth one it is due to the drug or radiation it also includes the interstitial lung disease and when you talk about the extra parenchymal diseases the extra parenchymal diseases can be studied under two headings the first one is the neuromuscular diseases and the second one are the diseases which are associated with the chest wall the neuromuscular diseases includes the diaphragmatic palsy muscular dystrophy and cervical spine injury and the chest wall disorders are kyphoscoliosis obesity and ankylosing spondylitis so these are all the diseases which are classified under the obstructive as well as the restrictive pattern one important point i want to tell you here that the hallmark of obstructive pattern of disease is the decrease in expiratory flow rates whenever the expiratory flow rates are decreased you should immediately say that the patient is suffering from the obstructive pattern of the diseases and you know that asthma copd bronchiectasis cystic fibrosis and bronchiolitis comes under the obstructive respiratory diseases so you have to further diagnose under these headings and whenever there is a decrease in the forced expiratory flow rate that is called as fef which is 25 to 75 and whenever fev1 and fec ratio are decreased these are the characteristic as well as hallmark findings to identify the obstructive pattern of respiratory diseases so by this we classified the respiratory diseases which are present in the obstructive as well as the restrictive types